Zuckerberg will appear before the Senate Judiciary Committee next month to answer questions on the data privacy scandal that's rocking the social media giant. It comes as more Facebook users are coming forward filing lawsuits over their handling of their personal information. Joining me now is Elizabeth Harrington, senior writer for the Washington Free Beacon, and Jim Kessler, former legislative policy director. Elizabeth, I think we're all left wondering, what does this moment look like when Mark Zuckerberg testifies? This is, this is a man who has chosen to be extremely private. I have covered him many years as a business journalist. An interview was nearly impossible to come by. Uh, he doesn't like to speak publicly. Yeah, exactly right. And you saw that he was a little uh, uncomfortable in the CNN interview when he finally had to speak out about this. But I think if uh, you, you want Zuckerberg to testify, I think you should also think that this is way uh, long overdue because Facebook has been doing this for a long time. The Obama campaign in 2012 did virtually the exact same thing that Cambridge Analytica did, only more effectively. They used third-party apps. They got all the data from um, their supporters, but also their supporters' friends list. So, but the, back then, the media called them digital wizards. Uh, Facebook was the ideal way to reach voters. But now, since a Republican won the White House, Facebook became weaponized. And I think it's great to be concerned about privacy, but I think this is long overdue because this is nothing new. This is their business model, and not only Facebook, Google, Twitter, uh, all social media. You've got to think, Jim, that they are scrambling to come together uh, and agree on a strategy, strategy for his testimony. Uh, I'm sure they are. Facebook is one of the five largest, most valuable companies on planet Earth, okay? But actually this hearing, this is bigger than Facebook because, look, this is different than the Obama administration. The Facebook stock isn't plummeting, uh, Zuckerberg isn't being hauled up before Congress, and Facebook isn't changing the privacy se settings because, you know, somebody did some good analytics off Facebook. There was fraudulent activity that occurred, and it was through Cambridge Analytica that basically did like a Nigerian email scam. They got 250,000 people to divulge all of their private information on what was an academic, they said, an academic survey on a Trump-aligned, Steve Bannon-aligned firm. So this is going deeper than just Facebook, even though Facebook is big and a behemoth. It's, it's, a, it's a great point, and you have to think uh, him showing his willingness to testify now puts a lot of pressure on some of the other big companies out there. Google, like Twitter, for example. And meanwhile, Politico, Elizabeth, put out a, a piece this morning uh, talking about the risks that Zuckerberg faces when he testifies, saying, quote, Zuckerberg doesn't often stray outside the co confines of a tightly controlled media environment. On the Hill, though, he's, he'll have to face finger-wagging members of Congress free to roam off topic and indulge in grandstanding at the CEO's expense. <laughs> I, I, we're, we're all going to await this moment and speculate what it's going to be like till it actually happens, aren't we? Right, and I, I like that line about the finger wagging from the members of uh, Congress and senators uh, because that's exactly what this is going to be. It's going to be a lot of political grandstanding. I'm not exactly sure all that much is going to come out of it because we've seen all these hearings before. And it is unique because Zuckerberg's never testified, and obviously there's a lot of outrage. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot of grandstanding. Mm. I don't know how much is going to change when this is the business model of all of these companies. I mean, they profit off of our data, and we have willingly given but it to them. But there was an understanding of privacy, and that's why, Jim, now uh, in the latest news and turmoil for Facebook, three users of the Facebook messenger app are suing Facebook saying that they violated their privacy by collecting logs of their phone calls and text messages. This is a uh, lawsuit was filed in the federal court in the Northern District of California. There may be more of those to come. I expect there will be more. I mean, the data is that is the new gold out there and it's it's used by firms and it's used by political firms and it's something we need to be very concerned about. You know, what is your own and what is somebody else's? And, you know, what we're going to see here, yes, you're going to see finger wagging from Congress, but don't forget some of these members of Congress. I remember when Senator Stevens of Alexander, a retired senator, he referred to the Internet as a bunch of tubes. So there's a lot of senators that, and House members that aren't that tech savvy.
Uh, hmm. This is something well, we need to be concerned about. This is the new frontier. They're going to have to be when they prepare for this one. Uh, yes. Thanks to both of you, uh, Jim and Elizabeth, for coming on this morning. Good to see you. you bet. Thank you. In a moment.